Well, hi everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I wanted to make a real quick video to start the week off uh, and tell you why I love being a flat earth debunker. It's because it's really easy. Now, typically what happens in the flat earth is they will find one observation or one interview or one tidbit of information that suddenly makes them think that they've disproven 2,500 years worth of science. So let's talk about one of those that's kind of making the rounds on the internet right now. And that's these two gentlemen right here. Gentleman on the left is a Russian and the gentleman on the right is the first Polish astronaut in space and he went aloft on Soyuz 30 up to the Salute space station. His mission lasted seven days, 22 hours and two minutes and included 125 orbits of the spherical Earth. Now, Recently, he was interviewed, apparently on Polish TV, and the interviewer asked him a question. Is the Earth really spherical? Does it just hang like a ball out in space? Let's see his answer to it. See if you think that he is a little taken aback by the question, and maybe he's kind of taken the piss out of the interviewer a bit. Pan tam był. Czy Ziemia rzeczywiście jest kulą zawieszoną w kosmosie? Jest płaska. Tak jak oczekują i nie spodziewałem się co prawda tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że jest płaska. Generał Mirosław Hermaszewski, jak dotąd pierwszy i ostatni Polak, który odbył lot orbitalny. Dziękuję serdecznie za rozmowę. Dzięki. Dziękuję, kłaniam się. You know, just have a look on the guy's face. This is a general in the Polish Air Force. He is the first and only Pole that has ever been in outer space. He spent a week up there orbiting the Earth. And he goes on this television interview and somebody asks him if the Earth is flat. Look at the look on his face. You know, like, can, I, I can't even believe somebody asked me that. Of all the things that I've accomplished in my, in my life, the guy asked me if the Earth is flat. That's... Okay, come on. So let's have a look at some of these other famous pilots that seem to claim that the Earth is flat. This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Go, go. Okay, so what we have here is this interview with four individual pilots on commercial airliners. Now, we've got this Australian guy that's going up and asking them a bunch of loaded questions, trying to get them to say that the Earth is flat, or that the Earth is, they don't have to make a compensation to go over the curve of the Earth. Now, let's see how long it takes for these professionals to realize they're talking to a nutcase. Here's the first one. Thank you. Can I ask the pilots one question? Ah, the first officer's here. Do you, do you mind? I've got a question for you. Oh, yeah. Hello mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Um, I'm a fellow, uh, Casey Josh, I'm a fellow, just PPL oh, though, pilot, cool. yeah. Yeah, nice. i got a couple of serious questions to ask yeah. you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a big time. <laughs> curvature. Curvature? Yeah. Yeah. We don't allow for curvature, do we? <laughs> for anything, not for you usually. Yeah. No, we're, we're round, uh, we're a disc, aren't we? Oh, round and flat. i just sneak past yeah. you, sorry. Hey, right. well, Honestly, quite seriously, yeah. we are, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet this guy's thinking when I'm no longer a first officer and I'm captain, I don't have to deal with these nutcases. Let's see the second one. I just got one question to ask. Flat or a ball? Flat or a ball? What's that? Well, I never feel as breaking round. If we live on a ball, surely we'd have to fly around it? Yeah, it uh, feels like... Flat or a ball? Flat, not a ball. <laughs> I think it's flat. Yeah, me it's too. Flat to me. It certainly does, doesn't it? And you, you, you've got that flight instrument that, down there to keep it flat. Gravity exists. Gravity? There's an unproven theory. No, it's not. <laughs> you know, I think it's absolutely great the kid corrected him. No, gravity's not just a theory. Now, this next one is probably my favorite. The captain started off by actually trying to answer a serious question and explain something to this gentleman and realized very quickly, again, dealing with a nutcase, get off my plane. Thank you. 
Hey, I just want to say thanks for the right. smooth flight. All right. I have did have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at? To three degrees. Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth? Oh, for the Earth? Because, yeah. No, we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah, but yeah. Do you have to keep like kind of going down because... No, we actually have to nose up. It, it flies. Yeah. Really? Because I was reading some stuff on the flat earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one? This one? Sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. That's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. All hey, right. God bless, brother. All right, have a good one. You too. You know, you see how quickly he realized that he was dealing with a nutcase? He started to give a really good explanation and was explaining how the angle of attack, you know, is three degrees up and then it just kind of keeps you going around the curve of the earth. And then the guy started talking about the flat earth and the pilot immediately hit him with a yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, it's flat. So if you'll excuse me, I have to go polish my wings. All right. In other words, get off of my airplane and get out of my face. You're not worth my time. Yeah, absolutely. I understand that these days. Um, G'day, guys. How you going? Just Hello. a fellow PPL. Oh, yes. You yeah, know, yeah, you know yeah, but, but yeah. yeah. Casey, how are you, mate? Nice to yeah. Peace to meet you, guys. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. I've been flying, yeah. and I've come to the con conclusion yeah. there is no curvature. I never allow for curvature. There's no way there's curvature. We're round and flat, aren't we? Definitely. We are, aren't we? Flat as a pancake, Thank you, mate. Sir. Flat as a pancake. <laughs> we were, so, and at the outer ring is south. Yeah. And, and, and so north must be in the middle, correct? That Possibly. Would, that yeah. would be the only way that a yeah. magnetic compass would work on a flat plane. Might be onto something there. Yeah. But, but you are not having me on. We no, are. No, no, we're round and flat, flat aren't we? Flat as a pancake, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, man. No worries. You made my day. <laughs> Now remember in the first clip, the first officer got stuck with the flat earther and he's just thinking to himself, I hate my life. This time the captain addressed the flat earther first. And I think that the look on the face of the first officer just tells it all. This is the first officer's revenge right here. Look at that guy. He can barely contain himself. Hey Captain, I've got a quick question for you. Uh, when you're up really high, mm -hmm. what's the furthest that you've been able to see, like as far as a city or mountain range or anything that you could recognize after you've been up there for a while? hundred miles? Oh yeah? Yeah. Maybe? Oh. Like, I, I mean, it has to be pretty something pretty distinguishable, mm -hmm. like uh, mountains. Yeah. So like, you could probably see the Rockies from Kansas. Wow. Like, nearing yeah. the border. The Rockies from Kansas, that seems like more than 100 miles. Well, nearing the border from Kansas into ah. our Nebraska, at okay. the very western edge of it. But while you're still in it, if it's a clear day, but if it's smoky or hazy, obviously we can't see much, but it's not that easy to see with the naked eye. Now here's an interesting thing. When you look at the drop from the horizontal down to the horizon, when you're at altitude in an aircraft, that gives you an idea of how far away your horizon is. So at 45,000 feet, if the horizon is 3.8 degrees below the horizontal, your horizon is approximately 3.8 degrees along a great circle course away from you, or 260. So how, how have they taught you guys to account for the ground moving underneath you when the plane's coming in at, you know, from different directions. Like, if, if the, like in the real plane? Or if, yeah, if the earth is moving from side to side, but you happen to be landing on a strip going north. But the wind is going like east to west? Well, not the wind, the, the movement of the ground underneath you. You're not, the ground isn't moving that much when you're, when you're traveling at the speed of, I mean, we... We landed about 143 knots, so that's quite fast. So, I mean, the, the movement of the Earth isn't it's not negligible. It's basically standing still as compared to our motion at that moment. That's, that's your experience? Yeah. Yeah. Because they tell us, you know, that at least in the U.S., the ground's moving at about 700 miles an hour left to right. And I was thinking that's kind of odd if you're landing going north 
you know, are moving in the north direction. That's not, an, that, yeah, no, the ground looks to us like it's standing still. Yeah, not an issue, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah, I always like this argument. What she's not really mentioning, because it's really quite obvious to anybody that knows anything about motion, is that the plane is moving left to right at the same 735 miles an hour as the ground. So the ground doesn't move relative to the plane. She was a little confused because she thought he was talking about a crosswind, which would make sense as a question. But then she began to realize that, no, this guy thinks that the earth is moving relative to the airplane, and that's just not the case. It's not moving relative to the airplane. So this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you very much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that little like and subscribe button down there in the lower right corner. I'd really like to have you on Team Bob. Stop by and have a look at our Patreon, and you know if you want to support the channel, that's how you can do it. And I'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you again for stopping by. Mm -hmm.